Sir. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. We fought for these ideals, we shouldn't settle for less. These are wise words, enterprising men quote them. Don't act surprised, you guys, cause I wrote them. Ow, but Hamilton forgets. His plan would have the government assume states' debts. Now place your bets as to who that benefits. The very seat of government where Hamilton sits. Not true. Ooh, if the shoe fits, wear it. If New York's in debt, why should Virginia bear it? Uh, our debts are paid, I'm afraid. Don't tax the South, cause we got it made in the shade. In Virginia, we plant seeds in the ground. We create. You just want to move our money around. This financial plan is an outrageous demand, and it's too many damn pages for any man to understand. Stand with me in the land of the free. Pray to God we never see Hamilton's candidacy. Look, when Britain taxed our tea, we got frisky. Imagine what gonna happen when you try to tax our whiskey. Thank you, Secretary Jefferson. <laughs> Would you like to join us? Or stay mellow doing whatever the hell it is you're doing, Monticello. <laughs> if we assume the debts, the union gets a new line of credit or financial. You don't have the votes. You don't have the votes. <laughs> you're gonna need congressional approval and you don't have the votes. Such a blunder. Sometimes it makes me wonder why I even bring the thunder. Why he even brings the thunder? was on Washington's doorstep one day in distress and disarray. Thomas Alexander said, I've nowhere else to turn. And basically begged me to join the fray. Thomas I approached Madison and said, I know you hate him, but let's hear what he has to say. Thomas well, I arranged the meeting. I arranged the menu, the venue, the seating. But Secretary Jefferson, you have the floor, sir. When we were on death's door, when we were needy, we made a promise, we signed a treaty. We needed money and guns and half a chance. Uh, who provided those funds? France. In return, they didn't ask for land. Only a promise that we'd lend a hand and stand with them if they fought against oppressors and revolution is messy, but now is the time to stand. Stand with our brothers as they fight against tyranny. I know that Alexander Hamilton is here and he would rather not have this debate. I'll remind you that he is not Secretary of State. He knows nothing of loyalty. Smells like new money, dresses like fake royalty. Desperate to rise above his station. Everything he does betrays the ideals of our nation. Hey, and if you don't know, now you know, Mr. President. Thank you, Secretary Jefferson. Did you forget Lafayette? 
What? Have you an ounce of regret? You accumulate debt, you accumulate power, get in their hour of need, you forget. Lafayette's a smart man, he'll be fine. And before he was your friend, he was mine. If we try to fight in every revolution in the world, we never stop. Where do we draw the line? So quick-witted. Alas, I admit it. I bet you were quite a lawyer. My defendants got acquitted. <laughs> Well, someone ought to remind you. What? You're nothing without Washington behind you. Hamilton. Daddy's calling. It must be nice, it must be nice to have Washington on your side. It must be nice. Every action has its equal opposite reaction. I get no satisfaction witnessing his fits of passion. The way he primps and preens and dresses like the pits of fashion. Our poorest citizens, our farmers, live ration to ration as Wall Street robs them blind in search of chips to cash in. This prick is asking for someone to bring him to task. Somebody give me some dirt on this vacuous mask so we can at last unmask him. I'll pull the trigger on him, someone load the gun and cock it. While we were all watching, he got Washington in his pocket. Look in his eyes. See how he lies. Follow the center of his enterprise. Centralizing national credit and making American credit competitive. If we don't stop it, we ain't in a better I have to resign. Somebody has to stand up for the South. Or somebody has to stand up to his mouth. If there's a fire you're trying to douse, you can't put it out from inside the house. I'm in the cabinet. I am complicit in watching him grabbing at power and kissing it. Washington isn't gonna listen to discipline dissidents. This is the difference. This kid is out. Oh, this immigrant isn't somebody we chose. Oh, this immigrant's keeping us all on our toes. Oh, show this federalist who they're up against. Oh, Southern mother, Nicole, Democratic Republicans. Oh, now follow the money and see where it goes. Oh, cause every second the treasury grows. Oh, we follow the money and see where it leads. Yeah, and the weeds look for the seeds of Hamilton's misdeeds. Situated by virtue of your position. Though virtue is not a word I'd apply to this situation. To seek financial gain, to stray from your sacred mission. And the evidence suggests you engaged in speculation. An immigrant embezzling our government fund. I can almost see the headline, your career is done. I hope you saved the money for your daughter and son. Your best one, run back where you come from. This letter finds you in good health. And in a prosperous enough position to put wealth in the pockets of people like me down on their luck. You see, that was my wife who you decided. Wow. She courted you. Have you read this? Alexander Hamilton had a torrid affair, and he wrote it down right there. I lies. The charge against me is a connection with one James Reynolds. Have you read this? I'm gonna be president now. I'm gonna be president now. I came as soon as I heard. I'm never gonna be president. The Reynolds Panthers. Have you read this? You ever see somebody ruin their own life? This poor wife. You used to work on the same staff. Wow. It might be nice. It might be nice to get Hamilton on your side. It might be nice. It might be nice. If you were to ask me why promote. Oh. Jefferson has my vote. Oh. I've never agreed with Jefferson once. We have won on like 75 different fronts. Your side. <laughs> Won in a landslide. Congrats on a race well run. I did give you a fight. Uh huh. I look forward to our partnership. Our partnership. As your vice president. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> you hear this guy? Man openly campaigns against me. Talk about I look forward to our partnership. It is crazy that the guy who comes in second gets to be vice president. Ooh, you know what? We can change that. You know why? Why? Because I'm the president. Uh, when you see Hamilton, thank him for the endorsement. Story. President Jefferson. I'll give him this. His financial system is a work of genius. I couldn't undo it if I tried. And I tried. 